Hello, colleagues and friends. My name is Joshua Olusegun Ajitomabi. Today, I want to show you how to use R to extract world development indicator data. But before we look at that, I want to show you something. Anytime you open your R Studio, your last output will appear on the console. In case you want to clear your console, you come to edit, then you find there clear console. Just, just click on it so that you have a very clean console to start your new project. So like I said, I want us to look at how to use R to extract world development indicators. And one very useful package to do that is WDI package. Usually the World Bank publishes a great volume of data from the world development indicators for the usage of everyone in the public. And for some of us that have been using the data sets, you will agree with me that it could be cumbersome trying to download the data and arrange the data in a very useful way. So the advantage of WDI package is to make it easy for every one of us to search and download WDI data. And the first step is to install WDI package. And I'm going to show us how to do that in case we do not have WDI package on our R Studio. To do that, you come here, choose install packages. Then you will type here W. You see, as I'm trying to type, it's going to try to autocomplete for me, WDI. So this is the package here. So you click on this. And you make sure that this box, the install dependency, is checked. Then you click on install. I'm not going to install it since I have it, so I can sue it so that we continue to do what we need to do. So after installation, in order to load it, I think we are familiar with this already. You type library WDI. So let me just copy to save the time of typing. So library WDI, copy. So I paste it on my script editor. So you run it, fine. So after loading the package, then you have to learn how to cite the package. Usually when you use R software, R studio, apart from citing R software, R studio, all the packages that you have used must be cited because they are actually written code by different authors. So in order to cite WDI, you just type citation, WDI, let me just copy to save the typing time. So copy. So let's paste it. Paste. Let's run it. Now we can learn how to correctly cite the package in publications. Set to cite package WDI in publications, use is it here. Vicente Red Boondock 2019 WDI so 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 Yep. I hope uh, that is very clear. So now we have loaded the package and we have learned how to cite it in our publication. So the keyword to search for data is this key WDI search. For instance, if we are looking for data on GDP, what we just need to type is WDI search, then we put the GDP in quotes. So let me copy it. Copy. So let me paste it on my console here. Run. Now, this means that in WDI, we have 493 variables that 
are related to GDP. Uh, to see clearly, you can just select all, copy, and uh, let's place it in, yeah, in the note part, you can see. So many of them. So you know, this give us a long list of all GDP related variables. So it is always very good to narrow our search to what we want. For instance, if our interest is GDP growth, then we have to type WDI search, then GDP dot, then we have this multiplication sign, growth, and everything must be in quote. So let's, let's copy. Now we see it's going to narrow it to GDP growth related variables. So let's so copy. Come here. So they are they are paste. Run. Yeah. You know, instead of more than four hundred variables related to GDP, we now have nine that are related to a GDP growth. So, and this is now manageable. So we have to take note of two things here. Number one, the indicator. These are the indicators because this is what we will need uh, in the course of downloading any of the variables of interest. Then this is the name. That is the name of these uh, nine indicators. For instance, number one is GDP growth, annual percentage. Two is per capita GDP growth, and so on and so forth. So. Now let us now learn how to download uh, download a series of interest to us. So to download, we need the information that WDI search produced and specific country two letter code. And to get our two letter code, you can go to this site. Or you just Google it. If you go to this site, the advantage of this site is that you can download it in Excel form. For instance, if you have done that, this we have the code. You know, for instance, the code for Nigeria is NG, and uh, the code for Romania is RO, and so on and so forth. So now let's let's go back here. So now let us illustrate how to download a series of GDP growth rates. And let's pick Nigeria and Swaziland as our example. So to do that, let us call it GDP growth equals the function is WDI. Then we have indicator. This is the indicator. This number six. Let us look at it here. We have number. Number six, GDP growth, annual percentage. So, you, and this is the indicator. You have to come back here. This is the indicator. So I have to copy the indicator here. And that is what I have. Sorry, this is, that is how I got this. Then country. Then I say, let us look at Nigeria and Swaziland. We just put the two letter code. Two letter code for Nigeria is NG, that of Swaziland is AZ. Then for which year are we interested? Let's let's start from 1981, then I end it in 2018. So you can make you can adjust all these things based on your interest. So let us copy this. Copy to save us the time of typing. So let's place it here. Paste. So and let's run it. Run. Yeah. So our result is out. And um, if you quickly want to just look at the results on the console, you just need to type GDP, GDP, and that's called growth. You type this and run, it's going to show you 
results. We can now see the results for Eswatini and Nigeria. Yeah, fantastic. So usually we need the data in Excel actually so that we can look at it or save it in the Excel format and so on and so forth. So if you want to do that, you must first understand um, the working directory that you are using. Now remember, we did not actually set any working directory, so most likely our working directory will be the document here. But to get the working directory, just type get wud. So just type it and don't put anything in the bracket. Let's, let me copy it. So copy. So I come here. Paste. So let's run it. So my working directory is actually documents. So if I want to export my GDP growth to Excel, this is what I need to do. I will say write.csv GDP growth, because that is what I want to export to Excel. Then this is my direct, the only thing I just change is desktop. And if you want to, you want it in document, then you don't even need to change anything. Then you have to include the name now. So I have GDP growth.csv, simple. So let's copy this. Copy. So let's paste. So let's run it. Fine. So which means we now have our GDP growth in Excel format on the desktop. So let's go to the desktop and we're going to find it there. So I think, yeah, this is it. So just click on it now and we're going to see clearly the data set. Fine. So this is our this data set. So this is the two letter code. This is for Nigeria, this is for the country, and this is our GDP growth for 2018 down down to 1981. So now we form a panel of two countries, and you can do that for as many countries of your choice. Fantastic. So this is just what I want to show us today. I hope we're going to practice it and get used to it so that we don't waste too much time trying to download and arranging all sorts of things that we normally do with WGI. Thank you. Stay safe and stay blessed in Christ. Thanks and thanks again.